I'm Shannon. I'm a buyer with Harry Rosen. There's certainly no shortage of shirts and ties to choose from these days, so let's start with some basics as to how to put them together. There are two main details that you want to consider when you're coordinating shirts and ties. Color and scale of pattern. Start simply by choosing colors that are complementary to one another and are really pleasing to the eye. For example, most blue shirts go really well with colors like red, yellow, or even green, something that's really gonna pop against the blue background. On the other hand, if you're looking for an understated look, you can never go wrong with a light blue shirt with a dark blue tie. It's always a smart look. Matching the scale of your shirt and your tie patterns is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So for example, if you're starting with a strong striped shirt or a bold check, your best bet is to choose either a solid tie or something that doesn't have a lot of pattern in it so that it's not gonna fight with the pattern of the shirt. If you have a strong bold check as we do here, you might wanna choose a plain tie that has a small polka dot on it because the tie itself really acts as a plain tie and again, doesn't fight with the boldness of the check. For a more advanced version of a shirt and tie combination, if you're wearing a really strong pattern in a shirt, let's say a strong stripe or a bold check, you could go with an equally strong pattern in your tie. Here's a great example. We have a beautiful, bold, powder blue check shirt, and we're taking an equally bold tie with a really strong polka dot pattern. But you can see that the scale of the dot and the scale of the check, because they're both so strong, really complement each other. In the second example, we're starting with a striped shirt and actually pairing it with a striped tie. The reason that they work together is that the scale of the stripe in the shirt and the tie are different. It's a rather narrow stripe on the shirt, but a wider stripe on the tie, so they don't fight with it, one another, and they're actually very complimentary and pleasing to the eye. In this example, we're coordinating a check shirt with a striped tie. So why does it work so well? Well, first of all, the color is perfectly complementary. The aqua blue in the tie is really pulling out the blue in the check of the shirt. So that's your first step. Secondly, does the scale work? In this case, it's perfect. You have a very small check, and we're coordinating a tie that has a rather wide stripe to it. So again, it's very pleasing to the eye and quite complementary. The two patterns don't fight each other. They really create a very pleasing look for a shirt and tie combination. So let's talk about what to avoid when you're coordinating shirts and ties. Here's a great example. In this case, the colors are complementary. You have a blue check shirt, a dark blue tie, so technically this should work because the colors are so complementary. However, what's off here is the scale. You have a very busy striped tie, a very busy check shirt, and they're really fighting with one another, so they just don't provide a pleasing combination. So this is definitely something you should avoid in your shirt and tie wardrobe. When you're coordinating shirts and ties, don't be afraid to experiment. But if you get really stuck, we would advise making an appointment with a Harry Rosen clothing advisor. We'd be happy to put together some fantastic combinations for you. And be sure to subscribe, share, or like us before you go.